Today I am going to be showing you guys how to get these three challenges done the quickest and most efficient way that I found. Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So the three challenges we are going to tackle in this challenge guide is change of scenery, complete campaign or Spartan Ops missions in Halo 3 or Halo 4. The second challenge is narrative navigator. For this challenge, you need to complete campaign or Spartan Ops missions and you earn additional progress for completions on higher difficulties. Last but not least, the last challenge, battle harden, complete campaign missions on legendary difficulty. So all three of these challenges can be completed with doing the same run that I'm about to show you right now. I have completed two of them already, but yeah, let's go ahead and get straight to it. I'm going to try to keep these quick and tidy to let you guys know how to get three challenge points pretty easily. So the first thing you want to do is obviously go to campaign, go down to Halo 3, go to missions, go to floodgate. We're going to be doing this on flood floodgate, go rally point alpha. I'm going to go ahead and put time up so that way you guys can see that takes about five minutes or less just to complete this entire mission. You do want to put it on legendary as one of the challenges wants you to complete campaign missions on legendary. And for skulls, of course, you don't want anything on unless you want some grunt confetti or whatever. So once you've got all that selected, you want to go ahead and just load it up. Okay, so once the level is loaded up, you want to go ahead and go get the gravity hammer. That's going to be our first objective because that gravity hammer is going to help us out in a certain situation we will get to later. So the gravity hammer is by this dead brute chieftain and you want to go ahead and pick that up. Of course, be sure to watch the entire video because there might be some key points that you'll miss that could help you in this run. And so from here on out, our next objective is to get the regen field. And really all you gotta do here is just proceed through the level. So you wanna jump out this window and get the regen field that's right in the center of this building here. And there might be a lot of flood coming towards you so you might wanna use the gravity hammer or something like that just to get them out of your way. Um, there is going to be a lot of running gunning so be aware of that. And our next objective here is to jump onto this fusion coil, which might be the tricky part for some of you. So do not shoot this fusion coil right here. And you want to go ahead and jump on top of that fusion coil and crouch jump over the railing. And once you've done that, do not go down this hole. What you want to do is break this window and just jump out, get as far as possible as you can, and it will trigger the cutscene. So you want to have your gravity hammer out, and as soon as she's done doing whatever the heck she's doing, you want to smash through this wall and kill all the flood that are coming through here. And as you can see, I actually got some progress towards another challenge, so that's really helpful. And yeah, so you just want to go towards here, keep walking throughout the level. So once you get to this outside part, be sure to skip all the cutscenes you encounter, of course. And you want to stay on this catwalk. Do not drop down where the elites are, are at. You want to just keep walking towards over here. And so once you've made it over here to this drop off point, you want to jump down and our next little objective is to jump up onto that platform up there. And the way you're going to do it is by jumping onto these rocks. This part can be a little tricky. Um, so be aware of that. You might need to crouch jump a little bit. Be careful because you might hit your head on this little part right here. And yeah, once you get up here, you just want to keep walking. You might want to shoot some flood here. As you can see, there's a lot of flood, so you might want to try to clear a path there. Be careful of the huge flood. They might explode and stuff. And over here is also a tricky part, because there's a lot of flood here, and you want to go ahead and shoot as many as you can. Ooh, there's a flood chasing me there. And yeah, you just want to kind of throw grenades, kind of clear them out, and take this left side. I'm about to die, um, which is not good, so I'm going to go ahead and throw my regen so I don't have to stop. Um, and yeah, you just want to do the same thing here. You want to go ahead and... Kind of shoot all the flood. You want to go up onto this railing over here, drop through this window, and just keep walking towards the end of the level. Of course, on this side, by the crates, you want to stay on this side. On the right side, you want to just keep walking through this side. You are going to have to shoot all the flood here, or at least try to kill them all. And, you know, just kind of clear the way for you. Ooh, I got some bad luck there. I actually got hit by a flood. That's not good. But generally, what you want to do is jump all the way down here where this debris is. I might die, which is going to be unfortunate if I do. 
Um, but yeah, you just want to keep walking here. Somehow I survived. And once you make it to this area, you should be safe. Uh-oh, I might actually die. Oh, okay. Well, that's, n that's not how you want to do it. So unfortunately, I got some bad luck there. Of course, you are bound to make mistakes. Um, that's kind of why you have the regen field, as it can kind of save you from those mistakes. Unfortunately, I made way too many mistakes, so I ended up dying. But yeah, generally, once you kind of nail it down, you should be able to get through this pretty quickly. Um, you might make some mistakes the first couple tries just because you're learning it, you know. But every week when these challenges go up, you're going to be able to eventually master this and nail it pretty easily every time. And yeah, you should be able to get three easy points. Overall, completing all these challenges will only take you like 15 minutes. It all depends on how many mistakes you make and yeah, and how well you do it. So with that being said, if this helped you out and you learned something new, be sure to subscribe and like the video as it helps me out. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Thank you.